Hello everyone, welcome to study time. In this video, we are going to see class 5 max, chapter 11, area and its boundary. First, let us see the concept and formulas related to it. Then we will discuss the sample questions related to this chapter. What is a area? The space occupied by an object is called as area. So in this uh, chapter, we will be dealing with more with squares and rectangle area of a square is side into side in square we say it as side so side into side for example if side is 2 centimeter then we will say 2 into 2 is the area area of a rectangle is length into breadth here this is length and this is breadth so we will multiply length into breadth for example, if this is 2 uh, meter and breadth is 3 meter, then we will be multiplying length into breadth. So, that is 2 into 3. Unit of, standard unit of area is square meter or meter square. Note, we can find the area of a rectangle and square by splitting them into small boxes of 1 centimeter. 1 centimeter. So, in this way also you can find the area. Next, let us see boundary that is perimeter. The total length of all sides of a shape is called its perimeter or boundary of the shape. First one, a square has four sides. So, the perimeter of a square is side plus side plus side plus side. So, four sides you have to add that is four into side. Next, for rectangle, it has got two length and two breadth. So, here one length, here one length, here breadth and breadth. So, you have to add all those things. So, L plus L plus B plus B equal to 2L plus B, uh, 2B that is 2 into L plus B. Next, we will see basic questions from this chapter. First question, the region enclosed between the boundaries of a figure is called its area. Second question, area of a rectangle is equal to length into breadth or you can write L into B. Third question, area of a square is sides of square into length that is side into side we can write. Fourth question, the sum total of the lengths of all line segments of a simple closed figure is called its perimeter. Next, how many squares are needed to cover these rectangles? Find its area. For first question, 18 squares are needed to cover this rectangle. So, area of A is 18 squares meter. Next, for B, this 20 squares are needed. So, here 5, 5, 5, 5. So, area of B is 20 square meter. Second question, find the perimeter of following figures. So, you have to add all the boundaries. For first question, 10 centimeter and 3 centimeter, 5 centimeter, 7 centimeter, you have to add. The total is 29 centimeter is the perimeter of the first one. For this picture, it is 6 plus 3 plus 3 plus 6 plus 3 plus 3. The answer is 24 centimeter. Next, we will see, find the area of the following rectangles using formula. So, this is length and breadth. Area of rectangle is L into B. 8 into 4 is 32 square meter. Area of rectangle is L into B. So, here it is 12 into 7 centimeter is 84 centimeter, uh, centimeter square. So, we can either write this way square centimeter or you can write or centimeter square you can write or you can expand this way also. Find the area of the following square using formula. We all know that it is side into side. 5 centimeter into 5 centimeter is 25 square centimeter. For this it is 10 into 10 is 100 square meter. Complete the table. Here cards are given length, breadth, area, perimeter is given. So, few places you, uh, you uh, uh, the measurement is incomplete, you have to fill. So, for area of rectangle, you all know that 
it is L into B. L into B here, 12 into 8 is 96 square centimeter. For perimeter, it is 2 into L plus B. 12 plus 8 is 20, so here it is 40. Next, for Rakesh, it is 9 into dash. So, we all know that L into B is 54 square centimeter square. So, 9 is given and B you have to find 54. B equal to 54 divided by 9 that is 6 centimeter. Perimeter is 30 centimeter that is 6 plus 9 is 15. 15 into 2 is 30. Next, for Sumit, it is breadth is given, perimeter is given. We all know that 2L plus B is 40. What is given here? Breadth is given. So, 2L plus 10 is 40. Two L plus twenty is forty. Two L when it goes the other side, it becomes minus for forty minus twenty is twenty. So L is twenty divided by two is ten. So when is L is ten, you will be getting area as hundred square meter. Next, look at the table. Which column will you use to write the area of this? Make a tick. Floor of a room, so it will be meter, square meter. Land of a field is square kilometer. Page of a book is square centimeter. Next, which carpet is bigger in area? One measuring 14 meter in length and 12 meter in breadth or another 15 meter in length and 10 meter in breadth. So first you have to find the area of both, then decide which is bigger. So first carpet area is 168. And second carpet is 150, so which is bigger? First one is bigger because it is 168 square meter. Next, find the cost of fencing of a rectangular park of 120 meter length and 80 meter breadth at the rate of rupees 2 per meter. First, whenever this question is asked, first you have to write what is given. Length, you have to write length is 120 breadth is 80 meter so perimeter of a park is 400 meter first cost of 1 meter is rupees 2 therefore cost of 100 meter is 400 into 2 that is rupees 800 next Next question, find the area of the floor of a room to carpet whose length is 12 meter and breadth is 9 meter. So first you have to find the area, area is 1 out 8 square meter, then you have to find the perimeter, perimeter is 2 L plus B that is 42 meter, then you have to multiply 42 into 50 that is 2100 rupees. Next, tick the right cloud. First one, the area of a square of side 12 centimeter will be 12 into 12 is 144 centimeter square. Next, a rectangular plot is 20 centimeter by 15 centimeter. Its area will be 300 centimeter square. So 20 centimeter is length and breadth they have given. So multi when you multiply, you will be getting the area. Next, observe the following, name them and complete the table. Object is given, you have to write the name, number of faces, number of edges, corners you have to write. First one, we know that it is cube, number of faces is 6, number of edges is 12, number of corners is 8. For cuboid, it is 6, 12, 8. Next comes cone for uh, cone number of phases is 1, number of edges is 1 and you don't have corners in cone. Next for circle, 1 faces, no edges and no corners. For cylinder, you will have 2 faces, 2 edges and number of corners is no corners here. 
so this is all about this chapter you have to know the formula of area of a square area of a rectangle same way perimeter of a square perimeter of a rectangle so this formula you should be very clear about this formulas so you'll be getting these sample questions in your uh, question paper in your term uh, assessment or in your half L exam or in your sample test so this is all about this chapter area and its boundary hope this video is useful and understanding thanks for watching